Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday, 23 December. Effectively the last trading day of the year for a lot of people. Of course, we have 28th, 29th, 30th next week. Um, but certainly the last trading day this week. Do have durable goods out in the U.S., personal income. New home sales, uh, CAD GDP. So we have a sort of a, I wouldn't say stacked, but we got some some releases out in the U.S. side. Let's take a look at these charts. Fix yesterday brought euro down to 55. We talked about this. The Monday bar has opened the downside, sort of. These big wicked bars have have opened things up. So, do we test 121.33 today? <sighs> Not sure here, right here, right now. Uh, but we do know if we do, there there might be some fireworks down through 20 on 21.20. Darian not doing much. Just kind of dicking around. Um, down to 30, up to 70 been 40 60 overnight this line's not super meaningful just short term your yen also not doing too much we're watching basically uh, 125 70 or 127 the figure as basically the edges of the range should be some money to be made on one of those two sides if if not both uh, but both aren't going to trade this week or or Towards the end of the year, only one of them will get picked off. Sterling in, <clears throat> going nowhere fast. Cable's back bit again. Hopefully, you got some low ones in yesterday. We nibbled a little bit, um, but nothing. Didn't really go quite low enough. Made a tiny bit of money, but nothing, nothing worthwhile. Ran into some some um, resistance at 50 yesterday you can see this is like a big steep pennant here it really gets interesting above 135 um, so keep an eye on that obviously you just gotta watch for Brexit news Aussie not doing much Euro Aussie we don't care Aussie Yen also not doing much Kiwi Yen, we're interested in this level here. 72.72. Seen some weird Kiwi Yen bars. Low liquidity, big reds, big greens, big reds, big greens. Um, if we go risk off, let's get rid of this short term line. through 70s pivot and might be a um, if we go risk off might be a, a risk off jumping point let's look at Tesla down to 14 so it gave a hundred bucks back about 18 percent since the S&P high but bounce back to 40 we're not sure Tesla here, but uh, we do think Tesla's going lower. Yes, down to 50 um, overnight. I don't know what that was. Must have been some kind of news at the Tokyo Open there. Um, also probing the downside, it looks like. Although it's year-end and window dressing uh, is a very distinct possibility. Will we test 3590? Maybe. Again, these wicks look like they want to be tested. Uh, so that's kind of what we're thinking. Dollars are mildly bit off the lows. Dollar max, same thing. Mildly bit off the lows, but still in the middle of nowhere now. These this Mondays, these Monday bars have destroyed the charts, so now I just have to be patient. Probably not going to do much here at the European Open. Um, 
we will be watching if euro starts edging down through 50 um, to see if we have the strength to take out risk below 20 watching this kiwi yen level uh, 72 72 Yuri and both sides. The closer side is the downside here. This is also 70, 125.70. And then we wait for these releases, I guess. Durable goods, CAD GDP. Let's look at the CAD charts. CAD, yeah, not that great. Dollar CAD. Also not that great. Dollar China. Doing nothing. Gold doing nothing looks like it's going to be a quiet one here the European morning watch out for Brexit news I guess that could uh, move things a bit otherwise we wait for uh, releases out in the um, European afternoon when the New Yorkers get in Bitcoin still fucking around up there Bitcoin looks solid Whew. rock solid Crude looks less rock solid. Wow. Crude does not look good. Hmm. Anyway, um, as I was saying, probably going to wait for uh, New York for the action. Cash open in stocks usually brings a bit more volatility, plus all of the fixed nonsense here towards the end of the year. Got to watch out for that stuff um, so patience patience is the trade first thing this morning and we will see how things go good luck out there people I won't talk to you tomorrow I'm not sure if I'm going to do videos next week we'll see what my mood is um, have a uh, good holiday season Merry Christmas for my Christian friends out there uh, for you non-Christians Enjoy the time off uh, and the time with your families and friends. Perhaps I'll see you guys the Monday, Tuesday afterwards. Um, yeah, I'll probably be here, so I'll catch you all next week. Anyway, enjoy. Good luck out there. Ciao.